Once you've changed the admin password, you may want to add Teams Rooms to Active Directory or Azure Active Directory. To do that, once again, right click on the Start menu and go to Settings. This will bring up the Settings task. Now there's other ways to get there, but one of the easiest is just to type Work inside the Search menu, which brings up Access, Work, or School. And from there, click Connect to Access, Work, or School. The key point here is to go down to the bottom. I usually run off and type in an email address, go through the process, and at the end, it's not the result I'm looking for. So instead, join to Local Active Directory or to Azure Active Directory. I'm gonna pick Azure Active Directory, and so now let's type in an account. So I will put in my Azure Active Directory account, and then my password. And I have multi-factor authentication enabled on this account. So I'll grab my phone and then approve the sign-in request. So then it asks me to verify, uh, but I do not have admin rights on the workstation yet. So this is my account. It's not an administrator on the workstation because again, it's an Azure Active Directory account that needs to be brought down to the local workstation. So this goes pretty quickly and the machine has now been uh, added to Azure Active Directory. So now that that's completed, I can sign out as the local admin, sign in with my Azure AD account. <laughs>